Welcome back to today's episode. Our first topic today is creative flight. Yes, we want to get as close as we can to that as an objective. So we need to get a few things. One is aquamarine. Now that deep dark's open, if you go all the way down to the bedrock in deep dark, dig around, eventually you'll find aquamarine ore. It's quite rare. I've only found six so far. Um, yeah, there it is. If you smelt one of them up, you get three aquamarine and you only need one to get us started, which is the first thing, which is the chicken wing ring. We need a couple of feathers, a couple of resonating redstone crystals and in spawn egg. Now, spawn egg is not as easy as the rest to make. So let's get started with the other bits and pieces we're going to need. We're going to need some glass and some iron. OK, and then we're going to make a singularity tank. We've made them before. OK, now that's one of those. And then we need to upgrade it with a couple of visor vendor, a hopper and some iron bars. Let's just dump actually this in here and see if the system can build it for us. Uh, assuming that it can. Yep. XP drain singularity tank. So essentially this thing is going to drain my current uh, XP and I'm going to put it up here somewhere. And it's going to let me then ladle that out into buckets, which is what I'm looking for. So uh, if I just pull out here. OK, and how much is in there Enough for a bucket? Good. <clears throat> You're now going to need to swab a chicken. <laughs> now, don't panic. There's nothing excessively weird about that. A mob swab uh, recipe is just two pieces of wool and a stick. And this basically lets you gather the uh, whoops, wrong direction. Get lets you gather uh, DNA from a chicken. <clears throat> so. There is a chicken around somewhere, I'm sure. I may already have one of these in the system. There we go. So we've swabbed a chicken. Yes, and uh, dodgy as it sounds. Uh, in its mouth, of course. In its mouth. And then we just need to get a seed and our liquid XP bucket. And that will then basically give us the spawn egg that we're actually looking for. So, uh, seeds. Uh, normal seed. Okay, so uh, XP bucket. Normal seed and chicken swab gets us GM chicken feed. OK, and as weird as this might seem, this lets you get a chicken egg out of a chicken. I know, I know that's weird, but it does mean that you can't use regular eggs for this uh, this ring. So uh, hello, chicken. Um, oh. And that's what happens. <laughs> Regardless, that spawn egg was a little bit um, uh, destructive towards the chicken. However, we've got the spawn egg now. I know these things are weird. Mod developers, what, what can you do when you're stuck inside for that long? Uh, I'm going crazy myself. Uh, there we go. So one, two there. Spawn chicken and just whatever it, uh, the else it takes. I'll be glad when this uh, whole situation around the world is over. Um, where are we? Uh, yes, so Iron Band, we've already got. Need some of those resonating things. Resonating. So I've got two of them. Okay. You can just make them with ender pearls and stuff like that, so it's not terribly hard to make. And uh, then we have our spawn chicken. Great. First stage, chicken wing ring. Now, it doesn't really do anything with that grid power, so we'll have to deal with grid power as well. However, we don't want to really go there. It's just it's a slight jump improvement. We want to get a golden lasso for a squid, get some <clears throat> black stuff of various kinds. Excuse me, I need to clear my throat. There we go, much better. So a couple of diamonds, some uh, probably ink sacks. So one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, out of ink sacks. Well, I know where we can get more. That's uh, easy enough. You can pulverize some coal, I suppose, or something like that. But uh, considering we have mob farms, you just get some of these squid beaks. Put them through and you've got 18 ink sacks, so that's that job easily done, more easily done. And uh, yes, I definitely want the angel ring because, well, I don't want to keep bouncing around like this without uh, potentially going over the side. Uh, so a couple of diamonds and uh, what else was it? It was the golden lasso of a squid. I went and got that already. Go to the Lost Cities. That's one of the reasons why I opened up Lost Cities among other people, other places. If you haven't opened Lost Cities, you have opened Deep Dark. You can get it from the Deep Dark as well. There's little pools on the floor and squid do spawn in those too. So it's got flying squid ring and just one ender pearl. Yeah, there's one there. And jobs done. No. Uh, no, why, why, you, oh, can't recognize the difference between those. Okay, so that is our flying squid ring. 
The next, you need to spawn, get a spawn bat, spawn ghast. Both of those things are flying things, in case you hadn't noticed. And the ghast worse than the others because you have to go and swab a ghast. Now, you also need flux electrum, which we'll have to get to. But I don't think that's too hard at this point. Flux electrum blend, silver, gold, destabilized redstone bucket. That's that's not too hard. Has some decent tools you can make with flux electrum as well, if I remember rightly. Yeah, different uh, different kind of uh, tools. Not going to worry about them. There's like special upgraded versions. I'm not going to go there. Uh, so we do actually need to get the flying squid ring off the ground so that we, no pun intended, off the ground so that we can actually use it. And uh, that means we need to get some GP going. So GP then, extra utilities, uh, power system. There's a few different options for that. Um, if I remember rightly, one of the easiest ones tends to be uh, water mills. If we can make water mills. So water mills, you just want flowing water blocks for that. That needs a resonating redstone mill, uh, and it needs stone burnt, which you get some from a resonator. So we need to make a resonator, which means I need to make some of these anyway, so I may as well make some. Everything else seems to be straightforward. A uh, block of coal um, is probably just a factorizer. It is just a factorizer, good. So yes, I'll make one of these, make one of these, and then you want the first thing uh, to power it. Now you can't power it with water mills, so you have no power to get started. So there is a hand crank, if I remember rightly. So add extra. Uh, it's like a it's like a spinning. <laughs> it's just a crank, really. Uh, sort of like uh, on board a ship, but um, it doesn't really generate much. But it lets you get started until you can build a water mill. And I've forgotten the name of it, but I will remember it, and uh, we'll come back in a minute. Once I've got a few bits and pieces, uh, what we're actually aiming for is something like the dragon egg mill there. But of course, we need to kill a dragon to get a dragon egg mill. Uh, we know where there is one. And there it is, the manual mill. So that needs a couple of things, uh, one of which is a redstone gear. So I'm going to need a, I uh, don't know, let's just craft about 16 redstone torches. And because uh, you're going to need these redstone gears for other things too. So I'm going to craft uh, four, four or five of those. Whoops, I really want to just stuff, put stuff in there like it's uh, just like a regular inventory. And there's we go with the manual mill. Uh, we're also going to need then to make whatever we need for the first water mill. And uh, the water mill is fairly straightforward. Uh, so a couple more of those redstone gears, but stone burnt. So I need some polished stone. I did already make some. Here we go. And then we can go and put the polished stone in, but nothing happens until you put the manual mill on top and you hold down right click. And as soon as you stop, really, um, you know, step away, yeah, the power goes away. So we need to just basically put, let the hit right click and walk away. You don't have to hold it down. You just right click and uh, wait for it to process at least a couple of these. You're going to need like six for the first water mill. So, yep, I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, do be aware, take out the ring out of your inventory. Otherwise, it'll go to your ring and then won't go to the resonator and you won't get anything done. OK. Good, good to know. OK, we're not going to need this for long, but we need, do have to have some kind of temporary setup for this thing. So I'm just going to put down a few things. I'm going to put down some stone around this. And uh, yes, I'll put down some torch temporarily in a minute. Um, just so I've got this going. What we actually want is water to flow past the flat sides of this thing. So in the meantime, we'll just go ahead and surround it. It needs to be bigger than this to get this running, but uh, you'll get the idea in a second. So water flowing past both sides, well, all four sides, and it's generating power. Specifically, it's generating 14 power. It's not quite good enough for as long term, but on a short term basis, cool. Uh, now we need to go and make another one, which is going to be easy enough. But then we then set up multiple of these so that water flows past again all four sides. So with that in mind, um, I'll go ahead and do that. And uh, we should have enough power then to power at least constantly our um, our squid ring, which is good enough to go get those swabs. OK, and if we put that into our ring slot, you see it uses 16 GP. We've got 38 available, so we should be able to use it. Yeah, we should be able to use it to get into the air, which means next up is going to swab down a couple of other things uh, that we need. In particular, a ghast, which might be the harder of the two to find, but probably the easier of the two to actually click. So, yeah, I'm off to hunt down ghasts and bats. I'm being chased by that ghast over there, or at least I was being chased by that ghast over there, because I may have actually swabbed it in midair. Um, I don't think it likes it that much. 
Uh, so yeah, bats may be the uh, the harder one to click, uh, but uh, we should be able to find them somewhere, I'm sure. Hello, chicken. This won't hurt a bit, honestly. Yes. So I now have a spawn bat egg, and I do also have a spawn uh, ghast egg from that same process. I'm just running around, swab them. Um, I'm not sure if we should reproduce them at some point, but uh, for the moment, they should work fine. Uh, that can go in there. I think the other ones are my backpack. It is spawn ghast. Okay. And that then leaves us to make the angel ring. So if you have a look at this and hover, you can see it's now only missing the central ring, which we've got on us, and flux electrum. Uh, so flux electrum then. Fluxed electrum. Uh, we should just be able to alloy up, I think. Oh no, we can't make it in the alloy smelter. Okay. Uh, when I say alloy smelter, I mean the, um, the, the smeltery upstairs. Can we make it in the actual alloy smelter? No, we can't. So we have to just go through uh, pulverized stuff. Pulverized electrum will do just fine. And uh, we're going to need two batches of this, so four electrum. And then two destabilized redstone buckets, which should be as simple as um, getting a uh, redstone and dumping a little bit of it into the smeltery and pulling it back out through one of the drains, I think. Uh, if not, then I'm sure we'll find out. Oh, I might have Electrum, so let's just grab gold and silver. Four, and I'll go and pulverize that up, and then we should be able to combine everything together. It wouldn't work in the smeltery, so I just went by the Magma Crucible. That should do us just as well, I think. Yep, there's two Flux Electrum Blend, and there is four Flux Electrum Blend. And then we just combine that to make an ingot, so that's just going to be in the induction smelter with some sand. So, one, two, three, four. And everything should be done. So, induction smelter, and there you go. That will convert across, and we're ready to make an angel ring. And everything should now be right. We can say craft one. And it uses 32 GP. We've still got enough for that, even with the water mills. Uh, I've got three of them running, so more than enough for this. So, if we do this, do this, I now should have. Creative Flight. Oh, this is so much nicer when you get to Creative Flight in a mod pack, particularly one that's an expert mode mod pack. You can just go around and uh, not have to worry about falling to your death all the time. Good. What are we going to do with Creative Flight? Well, of course, well, it would be rude not to go and uh, to, to, to face a dragon, I think. Next up on Dragon Trait uh, Hunting, we've got EFLNs, and they should help uh, hunt things down. Basically, they're explosives. I'm not going to need all of them, so I'll just take some with me. Don't need the stuff for traveling. Do be aware that some dimensions have flight restrictions, so you can't always uh, just quickly fly around in all of them. I think the Erebus is one of them. There's some more as well, but uh, relatively straightforward. Other than that, we've already got regen because of the ability bottles and light vision. So let's go and take a look and see how overpowered or not this Shrieken is. We do actually need more levels on it. Uh, it has one modifier left, so I could put more sharpness on that. Um, or indeed a uh, modifier of some kind, uh, maybe even embossment or something along those kind of lines. We can get like an embossment that drops heads, mob heads basically. But uh, let's uh, just uh, worry about that another time. For right now, uh, in fact, I don't need the um, yeah, I don't need the uh, the hang gliders anymore, do I? So why don't we just go and uh, make sure I have nothing but weapons? There we go. Sojourner's sash isn't even needed either, so that's all good. I'm going to make sure that basically all my good stuff is actually <laughs> kept inside my bag, nice and safe back at the base. And we've got our ERFL EFLNs, and uh, off to the end we go. Okay, so, oh, yeah, I do have Creative Flight, good, I was hoping that that wasn't going to be an issue. And uh, let's throw the ELFNs at those towers, shouldn't take very long at all. There we go. Okay, that's all of them, which means our friend here should be vulnerable. Not very vulnerable as a matter of fact, but should be somewhat vulnerable to throwing these things. Once, uh, I really want to get the end speed thing onto them. 
Oh no, it's taking damage. That's okay. Okay, I'll hunt this down and I'll bring you back when it's either nearly dead or dying, etc. And uh, oh, we should be good fairly shortly, to be honest. And we should be done. If I can track it down. Uh, come on. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. So down you go. And, uh, well, we should get a few bits and pieces from it. Lots of XP, among other things. But we should get a heart from here somewhere. <laughs> they don't like me at all. Or is it over here? Because that's where I actually hit it. Yeah, here it is. All the stuff. Cool. So, bits and pieces. Uh, we're going to want some other things as well, but for now, we are perfectly fine. Ender Dragon Trophy. Uh, we do want the egg, however. So, uh, we want to just get a torch or something like a torch. We can place those. That's fine. Let's go and just try and swipe it. It'll move. And then we can just basically grab our pick and do the usual thing to get the egg out of the... Uh, Wow, you really don't like things, do you? <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, you you are happy with me. Why do you come over here? Cool. Okay. Uh, I was kind of hoping that that would do more damage, to be honest. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, once we get rid of that guy, he's going to teleport away from a ranged weapon, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay. Honestly, I need to get out my sword. <laughs> As I was saying before, we were so rudely interrupted. Uh, we just want to basically get this sorted. So I'll just put uh, down a torch and knock out this block. There we go. We get a dragon egg, which will give us the dragon mill. And of course, we can go back by the uh, end game method if we really want to. But uh, yeah, we're back at our base. Cool. All right, so we've got everything we need by killing that. We could also kill the wither while we're at it, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, there's all the bits and pieces I need for that, however. We need some kind of witherproof block. But so let's take a look at what we got, first of all. A fragment of midnight. Uh, what's the uses of that? We need four of them. Noon, dusk, midnight. And they're all from different bosses. Gets us the map of sacrifice to summon the skeleton king boss. Wow, okay, interesting. Uh, and these are all presumably then uh, upgrades to armor. Yeah, maybe. Okay. And uh, what else did we get? Shader bag? No. Supremium? Very, very handy to have. We did a lot more though. Ender dragon scale? Uses for that. Our advanced recipes and dragon helmet again looks really good. Elite crafting? Yeah. and dragon weapons, ultimate materials? Good. And uh, friend of pearls? We don't need. An ender dragon trophy? Any uses for that? Well, we can make it into a slab. Not exactly what I want. The Dragon Heart is the main kind of loot that you get, though. You end up into Awakened Draconium. Yeah. And that's how you grow um, Draconium seeds, if I remember rightly. So you do need the Dragon Heart for that. And we may end up resurrecting the Dragon to get more hearts as needed as we get more powerful as time goes on. Uh, you can see here it's one of the ingredients to get to Awaken Draconium in the first place. So, yeah, we're going to want more of those. Anyway, also talking about for the Wither. Uh, yes, Draconium. Draconium blocks. These ones. Draconium infused obsidian. Uh, they need Draconium ore, which we now have access to. We can fly around the, the end. And, of course, that means we can go and grab all the Draconium out on the, the outer edges of the main islands in the uh, sort of meteor areas. We can use those to uh, basically get ourselves this, which we can make a cage for the wither to, um, well, do, do what uh, we normally would do with the wither. Well, it'd be rude not to. Up here in the roof of the nether, um, and uh, the previous attempt may have gone slightly, slightly wrong. Uh, so now I've, got an, now I've got an internal space of one by three by four tall. And uh, hopefully the, the wither is not going to escape from that, but we shall see. Uh, I need to knock a block out the back, don't I? Uh, yeah, I need to be able to see the heads for this. So let's go, let's go and uh, get that done. This block particularly. Um, am I lined up? Yep. It's hard to tell with this particular block. So yes, uh, manual killing only, of course, but we'll get to automatic killing later. I normally do this in the overworld, but what tends to happen is... Uh, when they decide to sink down in the overworld, because it's a void world, they sink down and, um, well, frankly, they then get stuck and they don't die 
at the bottom of your world and you get close and uh yeah you can't find them so it's better to just put it in a, in a in a world that you don't actually use that much okay i'm i may be being a bit blase but i've started the wither fight anyway it's going to explode in just a minute and um we'll see whether it actually escapes hopefully not but uh, I have fought this before. Well, he's not escaping. That's good. So, first of all, we're just going to shoot it from remotely. Sorry about the volume. Let me just actually lower that a little bit. Master volume. Uh, bring it down. Okay. And he... Oh, he's trying to hide in there. Uh, that's that's not going to work. Uh, oh, hello, with the, with his minion. Okay, it should hit half. Yeah, it's hit half. Good. The Withers minion can go away. Oh, he's not escaping. Good. And now we can just, oh, well, get stuck in a pit of uh, where my netherrack was. I may need to put more reinforcement around the outside of this, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just say say hi to my sword. I'm just going to let it recharge between each uh, swipe. There we go. And it's nice and easy. There we go. Now you're going to need like 70 or 80 blocks effectively of 70 or 80 blocks effectively of um, this draconium infused obsidian. It's just obsidian with uh, blaze uh, blaze powder, but you need draconium. So you need to fly around the end, go and get yourself some draconium and uh, about get yourself two and a half stacks. You're not going to need that for this. You're only going to need about one and maybe 20 more, something along those sort of lines, around about 80 blocks. I can never remember exact, the exact amounts, but it's around that kind of size. So just make 90 uh, and you'll be safe. So there's a few extra here, uh, for instance, that I did, didn't actually need in the end. So uh, yeah, in here, we've got a nether star, which is good. I'll be useful. And a wither kit boss trophy from armor plus another fragment of noon. You get these all of these when each time you kill one, um, because this isn't the first time I've killed one. The other one was just very very messy, and I didn't want to demonstrate that on camera as an example of a good wither killing mechanism. Um, of course, we've got red hearts as before. Uh, now this can actually just be a um, an, an ender chest to your main system, but uh, I decided just to do it this way. So that's two bosses down. Creative flight. This is a good episode so far, isn't it? While you're in the end, you're going to want to make sure you pick up some of these chorus fruit. We're going to be growing them. Uh, they are on the outer islands, so do uh, go and get them from there. And I'm going to just quickly drop down a few of these. And we're just going to hop in bonsai them. Um, anywhere's fine, as long as it's open to the sky, I guess. And then we'll just basically put in some end stone and grow this on top. Now they drop the normal chorus fruit, which is fine, but... I'm not needing that in particular. What I'm really looking for is the popped version. Uh, and you, I think you can just smelt this to pop them. So you do get basically double drops. But if you look at the drops, you get this. And you also get some of the popped chorus fruit and some of the ender pearls as well. Uh, you get 20% chance of two popped chorus fruit and just a very low chance of ender pearls. So you're just going to basically let them grow. They're quite slow at growing, which is why I said that you're going to want an array of them. Uh, because we're going to need them coming up for capacitors, it's uh, going to be needed when we get to Pneumaticraft. We need these melodic capacitors. They, in turn, need a melodic alloy, and melodic alloy in an alloy smelter is popped chorus fruit, end steel, and thorium. And uh, these two we can make, again, alloy smelter, end stone, dark steel, and obsidian. So lots and lots of dark steel. <laughs> so that means uh, we need lots of obsidian. So I've set up the obsidian machine again. And thorium, I don't have a renewable source of it yet, so unless there's any way to sift it. And it doesn't look like there's any way to sift it, so it's sort of like uh, you may need to set up a quarry of some kind. How hard is it to make the digital miner? Uh, the digital miner is... Oh. E. e. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we're getting into Pneumaticraft next episode. Um, yes, atomic alloys, uh, okay, so there's, there's plenty of stuff to do for the digital miner. That digital miner is honestly the best quarry to actually have. You can just get it to basically remove all the stuff without taking any of the blocks away, which is uh, very, very handy for stuff like um, Deep Dark or Lost Cities or whatever you actually want to do. And you'll see some, some fruit has actually popped in there, so I'll just dump the rest in and 
there or something and uh, that's that done so that's a new farm started we've got two bosses killed and um, we've got a yeah, crazy flight so i think i'll end the episode there as it's a probably a good point to end on uh i don't need to be scared about using these slime boots all over the place anymore and uh we're done so i hope you enjoyed the episode if you have give it a thumbs up do leave any comments down below with suggestions or corrections and we'll see you next episode for some more project ozone 3 kappa hope you're enjoying the pack as i am uh, as always guys Thanks for watching.